Or tonight, the FBI is working to decide if any federal laws were broken during a violent demonstration at the site of a planned public safety center in DeKalb County. This video shows the chaotic scene Sunday as police say dozens of demonstrators dressed in black shot fireworks at officers and set construction equipment on fire with Molotov cocktails. Here now is the latest. Today, the Georgia State Patrol returned to the training center site off Key Road to get a look at the damage and investigate what police are calling a coordinated attack. Several agencies stepped in to help during the violence Sunday and arrested or detained nearly three dozen people. We have many of their mugshots today. We wanted to know where all of these people detained are from and just two called Georgia home. The rest are from the U.S., Canada, and as far away as France. The GBI director says the new public training center will be good for the community and the violence surrounding it must stop. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live in DeKalb County. Mark, you learned the GBI is seeking domestic terrorism charges against the 23 people arrested. And from video viewed online, it looks like this is where some of the most dramatic activity happened right around here. But we got an exclusive view from the GBI director about what may be ahead for some of those allegedly involved. This is not peaceful protest. This is criminal and terrorist activity, and we can't stand for it. The safety of our community is is our primary concern. It's the governor's concern, it's the AG's concern, it's law enforcement's concern. We can't have 150 plus people deciding that they are going to charge a construction site, they're going to burn equipment, and they're going to put law enforcement officers' safety and lives at jeopardy. We are not going to tolerate that. Georgia Bureau of Investigation Director Mike Register says GBI photos show the aftermath of a violent confrontation in the vicinity of the new Atlanta Public Safety Training Center construction site between police and a large and violent crowd captured on Atlanta police video. I won't call it a crowd of demonstrators or protesters. I call it a crowd of criminals. But he says also in the aftermath, state, federal, and local investigators led by the GBI will fold what happened Sunday around the site into an investigation underway for months into dozens of acts tied to opposition to the new training center, an investigation building a basis for one sweeping indictment prosecutors from the Georgia Attorney General's office and DeKalb DA's office are expected to soon ask a grand jury to return. Are you working toward a sweeping racketeering indictment? That is something that you'll have to discuss with the AG's office. When it comes to calling a, a, a body, a gathering body of 150 people uh, criminal, that is a gross mischaracterization that they're um, using to absolve themselves. Ariel Marie told us she's an activist who's part of a coalition of groups and individuals in the so-called Stop Cop City movement. Who would you be more afraid of? Would you be afraid of a 20-year-old who maybe got his hands on a Roman candle uh, in the middle of a park? Or would you be afraid of a armed and dangerous militarized um, police force? We can't say for sure what is causing the explosions on video posted by APD, but Register says weaponized fireworks and other objects were directed toward police. He indicated he fought overseas to defend the right to peaceful protest. Peaceful protest is a cornerstone of our country. The GBI director says a GBI agent applied for the warrants charging 23 suspects with domestic terrorism stemming from what happened Sunday. Only two of the 23 were from the state of Georgia. All the other actors doing the criminal behavior were from out of our state. And we had one person from Canada and one person from France. If the police were worried about outside agitators and they would not be building Top City and marketing it to uh, outside um, law enforcement bodies. Director Register says he believes the new Atlanta Training Center, it built, would actually improve the relationship between police and the community, including in confrontations with the potential to turn violent. Training is key. There is no data that supports that giving them $90 million to, to build a playground is going to make Atlanta more safe. Now, I made some phone calls, but on deadline, we've not been able to confirm if indeed the new Atlanta Public Safety Training Center has been marketed to outside agencies, and if so, to whom we used imagery in our report from APD and the GBI. Reporting live, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.